First things first, do you know what day it is today? What's the date when you're watching this video? Now it's important to keep track of time because that's how many days have passed this year. And that's truly enough time to make a crazy transformation. Because time passes fast and you need to enjoy the moment. But what you do today is that you're understanding that health is wealth. And there's no amount of money that you can pay today that's gonna give back you that time to be healthy versus wealthy when you get older. And yeah, that may be a far time away, but think about the last time that you got sick. The last time you got sick, all you wanted to do was get healthy again. You probably called in sick to work, you probably laid in bed all day, you probably moped around the house, how good did that feel? Now fast forward 10, 15, 20, 30 years, whatever it takes, do you wanna live a day being that unhealthy? Well guess what? Every day that you're adding up, that you're not taking care of yourself, that you're not working out, that you're choosing poor nutrition over good nutrition, that you're letting your mind rot in the daily grind of negativity, well, guess what's gonna happen? All that's going to compile piece by piece by piece, and next thing you know, you built this house, this deck of cards that's just going to crumble, and you're gonna feel the things that you did then in years to come from now. So why is today important? Because just imagine where you'd be if you started on January 1st and you stayed fully committed to your goals. Now we can't go back in time, we can only make the changes today because what you do today is the only thing that matters. So instead of waiting until the perfect moment, instead of waiting until Monday, and still, instead of waiting until after this, whatever it is that you have at work, it doesn't matter. None of that truly matters because if you're spending a day in stress, you're spending a day in negativity, or you're spending a day where you're not creating a better version of you, well, guess what? Nothing's gonna happen. But we can, now that we know what we don't want, let's start focusing on the things that we do want. And it's not even that hard. We don't need to overthink this. We don't have to start throwing away all the french fries in our fridge. We don't have to stop going out with our friends. We don't have to cut out the booze completely. But we have to make a small action. A little less booze. A little less junk food. Do one workout, right? Focus on, I just wanna to get to one workout. And every day you can think to yourself, how about just, let's quit after the next workout, right? So instead of saying, I'm gonna quit, that's it, I'm done today. Why don't you tell yourself, you know what? I'm gonna focus on quitting. After I do my workout tomorrow, that's when I'll quit. So I'm giving you the permission to quit. But you can quit after you've done one more workout. So you may not be where you wanna be, but guess what? As long as you're getting 1% better every single day, you're one step closer. So understand that you got this. Let's go and say it with me. Woo!